leave. We're going on a permanent vacation. Yeah, and we gotta beat the speedboat salesman to the airport. I love it here. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 kids movie stars who dropped off the map. Number 10, Sam J. Jones. Based on the beloved comic strip, 1980's Flash Gordon starred relative newcomer Sam J. Jones in the lead role. Jones reportedly clashed several times with Dino De Laurentiis, prompting the producer to use a different actor to dub some of Jones's lines in post. In fact, Jones was in danger of being recast for the rest of the trilogy, though it didn't end up mattering since Flash Gordon disappointed at the box office. It has since reached cult status, though Jones never did find a bigger role. He did, however, make a special appearance in Seth MacFarlane's Ted and its sequel. The former Marine has been taking on smaller gigs ever since, and also deviated from acting to professional security for a while. Number 9. Judith Hoag By the time the first live-action Ninja Turtles movie released, Kids couldn't get enough of the mutant crime fighters. The movie was a major hit, but April O'Neil actress Judith Hoag wouldn't reprise her role for the two sequels. According to her, she wasn't asked back because producers thought she complained too much about the level of violence and long shooting schedules. The Hoag did appear in popular films after that, they were mostly minor parts, until she landed her second most defining role as Gwen Piper in the Disney Channel original movie, Halloween Town. Keep your brother and sister back! Number 8. Daniel Tay. Even if you don't know him by name, chances are good you watch Daniel Tay every holiday season. Tay played Buddy the Elf's half-brother Michael in the Christmas classic Elf. At 11 years old, it was his acting debut, and he certainly showed potential. You may have also heard his voice in the critically panned animated family film Dougal, though Tay wouldn't appear in much else. I quit. He voluntarily left the world of acting behind when he found his true calling, teaching. He attended Yale, where he earned a BA in economics, and afterwards went to work at Veritas Prep as an SAT instructor. As far as we can tell, he's much happier in his second career choice. Number 7. Jeff Cohen The Goonies is a quintessential coming-of-age adventure movie. Jeff Cohen made every audience member laugh as Chunk, the group's portly, clumsy member. Unfortunately, he became a victim of typecasting after the movie was released. According to Cohen, he struggled to earn roles outside of the chubby kid persona, a feat that became rather impossible once he began to grow up and slim down. Thankfully, with help from director Richard Donner, Cohen was able to pivot. He got his bachelor's in business at Berkeley before earning a law doctorate at UCLA. In 2002, he co-founded his own law firm, and as of 2014, some of his writing can be read in the Huffington Post. Number 6. Jamie Waylett Appearing in the Harry Potter movies, no matter the size of the role, must have been a dream for any child actor. But Jamie Waylett sadly never got to see it through to the end. Waylett played Vincent Crabb, one half of Draco Malfoy's duo of minions. In 2009, he was charged with possession of cannabis and given 120 hours of community service. This would mark the end of his film career, as evidenced by his absence in both parts of Deathly Hallows. In 2011, he was arrested for taking part in the London riots and was sentenced to two years in prison. In the years since, he's taken up rapping, and fans can get personalized messages from him on Cameo. I'm an animal, I send them to the party gate. Number 5. Omri Katz After getting started on primetime TV shows like Dallas, Omri Katz took on the role that would keep him famous among children for years to come. Katz played Max Dennison, the teen hero who accidentally resurrects the Sanderson sisters in Disney's Hocus Pocus. Oh, come on, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. He's since spoken about being high during the filming of the movie, to the point where director Kenny Ortega had to pull him aside. Katz would leave the world of acting in the early 2000s, but, interestingly, he kept up his ties with the recreational activity and now owns an online merchandise store themed around the substance. Number 4. Barrett Oliver The never-ending story continues to capture the imagination of children to this day. However, the majority of its cast dropped off the map for various reasons. At the core of the film, however, was Barrett Oliver's Bastion, a young boy who discovers a magical world through a mysterious book. Though this is certainly his most famous role, Oliver still gained prominence through other films, like Ron Howard's Cocoon. His final film role was in 1989, and he quit acting after that in order to pursue photography. In 2007, he published a book focusing on the process he uses in his craft, the Woodbury type. Today, he enjoys a much more private life. Number 3. Mara Wilson If you were a kid growing up in the early 90s, chances are you enjoyed at least one Mara Wilson movie. Maybe it was her debut in Mrs. Doubtfire, or her starring role in the adaptation of Roald Dahl's Matilda. Regardless, Wilson seemed poised to become a major star, yet she left Hollywood at age 12. 
Her mother's passing in 1996 certainly impacted her passion, though she would later write about how the world's reaction to her going through puberty also made her step away. Wilson would make her return to the public eye in 2012, primarily through web series such as Welcome to Night Vale. You can also catch her in Disney's Big Hero 6 The Series. Number 2. Peter Ostrom Peter Ostrom got to live out every kid's fantasy as the main character Charlie Bucket in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You got the last golden ticket! He was only 12 at the time, yet the role earned him the offer of a three-film contract. Ostrom turned it down over concerns he wouldn't get to pick his own roles, and this wound up being the right decision. After filming wrapped, he found his true passion, largely owing to the veterinarian who would take care of his family's horses. In 1984, he earned his doctorate in veterinary medicine at Cornell University. He currently lives in New York, where he primarily works with horses and cows, though he still makes the occasional appearance for events. Number 1. Rick Moranis Although not all of Rick Moranis' movies were for kids, some of his best were. Moranis' warmth and comedy lit up the screen. Sadly, it was tragedy that caused him to drop off the map. Moranis' wife, Ann Belsky, passed away in 1991. He found it too difficult to raise two kids as a single parent while being in the spotlight. He would, however, pick up a voice role every now and then. He since returned for a commercial with Ryan Reynolds' Mint Mobile, and will reprise his role as scientist Wayne Zielinski in the upcoming Shrunk. We brought in an actor we've all gone too long without, Rick Moranis. 